another video here on my channel for those of you who are new i am trika of trika plans also the owner of the cuteness boutique on etsy all of my links are listed in the description bar below and also check out my youtube banner all of my social media handle handles are on the banner and the link to my etsy shop is on there as well we are currently having a sale over at the cuteness boutique the whole entire shop is 30 percent off so if you have those things in your cart and you have been eyeing them this is the time to grab them now the sale will last until tomorrow midnight which is monday um april the 5th so make sure you go ahead and grab those goodies we have mugs we have pins we have um, planner accessories and so much more so this is where the planning and the cuteness collide and on my channel we will plan this thing called life one day at a time sprinkling in life info encouragement and so much more if you're not already subscribed to the channel go ahead hit that red subscribe button also turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i go live or whenever I upload a video. Give your girl a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. So, that's that spiel. After happy Resurrection Day. We are here in the first week of April. I didn't know if I was going to do a video or not today. Because today is a very important day. And I just said, you know what? It is the first week. We are in April i did um i didn't put the reading plan in last week's video so the reading plan will be up and make sure you check out the community tab i'm going to be um i'm going to be visiting there a lot more as well and we could have some discussions and such over there as well so we have the april reading plan and we are going to be discussing finances you know we're going to do some finances god way we're going to get ourselves financially fit. So we will do April and May. I already have both reading plans. And I'm going to be in this planner here from Hobby Lobby. It, this, is a, this is a little planner that I got. And it's, um, it's also, um, it's a, what do you call this? A face planner. Oh, goodness. I couldn't. I drew a blank. So, yes. So it has you know all of the faith things on it this one is just blank with butterflies and i also pulled out this let me go ahead and show you guys this um faith planner right quick because i'm not gonna i mean this faith sticker book as well from hobby lobby this is the stickabilities from the paper studio i got this when it was 50 percent off and if you order online and you want to use the code um they do have a code um they're not doing coupons but you can find codes because i use the code on on my flower power sticker book and it worked y'all i got the i got the flower power sticker book for 40 percent off i couldn't believe it so here is this is so beautiful and um i just want to give a shout out to crafty girl she is one of the wrenches on my channel which is carolyn she the one sent me looking for this book so i got one for a few people and i will be mailing those out my sinuses has been acting up so i've been working and i haven't had time to get mail out um but next week i gotta get orders out mail out i got a lot to do so we're gonna get focused so this is the sticker book and let me zoom in so you guys can see it really fast before we get into our soulful sunday so this is really pretty and it has all of the icons and everything and i love these big bibles and i love the um boxes and everything so you can use that in this sticker book i mean in this planner so that's why i really enjoy um using this planner sometimes so you just y'all know when you have all of the things you use all of the things you do whatever you know whatever floats your boat and i also have some stickers that i got that i love all of the little um you know cool tones and 
I don't know if they're cool tones, but they're cute. Sticker book is really cute. So, here's a little quick flip of this sticker book from um, the Paper Studio. Um, normally, I, I be calling it the Agenda 52, but this one is strictly the from the Paper Studio Stickabilities. And y'all, I, I apologize. My sinuses are still acting up. I do go to the allergies Tuesday. Thank the Lord. So that's the end of that. So let's go ahead, set up our April, and let's get started with week one of our fin getting financially fit God's way. I am excited. So week one, we are doing Matthew 25 and 21, and also Matthew 6 and 24. And the soul work for this week is Matthew 25, 14 through 15. So I will put in the community tab the soul work for this week. So if you are following along, you can go ahead and get started on your soul work. And then we'll discuss it a little bit more next week. And then week two is Matthew 25, verses 28 through, 20, through 29. And Ecclesiastes 6 through 9 and the soul work is Matthew 6 and 30 and when you are looking for the scriptures they are listed in the description bar below so make sure you are checking the description um, below because it has valuable information and that's how you can find out everything that's going on in the video and sales PR codes and everything like that so let's get started Diving into week one of our April's Soulful Sunday, we are going to be discussing wise money management. We are getting financially fit and we are going to do that God's way. So today we are going to be focusing on Matthew 25 and 21, also Matthew 6 and 24, and our soul work, Matthew 25 verses 14 through 15. Matthew 25 and 21. Good and faithful servant, you have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. That's Matthew 25 and 21. Matthew 6 and 24 is no one can serve two masters either you will hate the one and love the other or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other you cannot serve both god and money oh wow we are learning something new here today so it gets even deeper let's keep on and then let me go ahead and touch on the soul work. I will also put that in the community tab, the soul work for today, so that you can go ahead and dive in and start studying it for yourself. Soul work is Matthew 25 verses 14 through 15. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, the other two bags, and to another one bag, according each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. God's reward for wise money management. Money is the acid test of your faithfulness. God uses it more than anything in your life to test your faith. We might ask why. Well, because it's the thing that we have the hardest time with. Look at the rewards that God gives for wise money management. The master replied, well done and good and faithful servant you have been faithful with a few things i will put you in charge of many things come and share your master's happiness 
Again, Matthew 25 and 21. I'm reading from the NIV version of the Bible. I know you guys are watching me set up my April and May monthly for the Soulful Sunday, but I am going to go ahead and give you all, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give you all the, um, the reading scriptures and I'm going to just touch on them all a bit. Okay. The law of compensation is this, God will reward you for good money management. Guess we didn't, a lot of us didn't know that. There are three steps to this reward based on Matthew 25 and 21. Number one, affirmation. Two, promotion. Three, celebration. God affirms you by saying, good job. I was testing you to see if you could be trusted with what I gave you and you passed the test. Well done, good and faithful servant. Isn't that amazing? So if you do good with what he give you, he will bless you with more, basically. The second step is promotion. As you show faithfulness with a few things, God will give you greater responsibility. Amazing. And as you show your responsibility, God will celebrate you. You will share in God's happiness. That is number three. Jesus said, no one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. That's Matthew 6 and 24. Notice he didn't say you should not serve God and money. He says you can't. It's impossible. Nobody can serve two masters. So you're going to have to decide what will be number one in your life, God or making money. Money is a terrific servant, but it is a terrible master. When it come, when it masters you, you're always under stress. You're always worried. You're always uptight about it. When you are the master of your money, when it is your servant, it serves you. When money works for you instead of you working for your money, then you will have peace. Ooh. Now, see, it took a while for me to get there. And I'm sure it may take a while for a lot of us to get there. But you're the only manager of your money. Jesus says in Matthew 25, verses 14 through 15, which is your soul work. Once there was a man who was about to leave home on a trip. He called his servants to put them in charge of his property. He gave to each one according to his ability. To one he gave 5,000 gold coins, the other he gave 2,000, and the other he gave 1,000. Then left on his trip. In those days, there weren't any banks. So when this rich man left for his long trip, he entrusted his property to his servants. When he returned, he asked for an account from his servants. He wanted to know what they had done with his money. This is called stewardship. The old English word for manager. So managing your money. Stewardship. Okay. This first law of financial freedom is the law of possession. Everything you have belonged to God. You're, you are only a manager. Stewardship. 
We are called to be stewards of our time. We are called to be stewards of our influence. We are called to be stewards of our health, our relationships, and our opportunities. Everything you have, you are to be steward or the manager of. Isn't that amazing? Everything we have on to our house, cars, clothes, everything. We are to be stewards of it. We are the managers of it because everything belongs to God. I hope you got your pencils, paper, everything out to write this down. You may say, but wait a minute. Yep. Yeah, wait a minute. I work for my money, (laughs) but it still belongs to God. And now you want to tell me it isn't mine. Where do you think you got your body to work for your money? (laughs) This is so good. That's why I'm laughing. Where do you think you got your mind to work for it? Where do you think you got the energy to work for it? Where do you think you got the intelligence (laughs) to work for it? Everything you have is a gift from God. You don't really own anything in life. It's all on loan. You can only get to use God money while you're here on earth. He's loaned it to you for 80, 80 or so years. He loaned it to someone before you, and he's going to loan it to somebody else after you die. You don't own it. The master owns it all. It's all under management. So y'all sit and think a minute. Watch me still decorate with this beautiful kit from Vinvon Alley. And if you want some of this cuteness, Trika 20, T-R-I-C-K-A 20. No matter of fact, she's having a sale today. And today is the last day to use the, um, to go ahead and get you some Vinvon Alley cuteness, um, the sale ends tonight, I think, at midnight. Everything in her shop is 30% off. So it's a bigger code than my Trika 20. So go ahead over there and get you some cuteness. And I love the way this pin right. This is my favorite girl pin. So make sure you look for it as well in the Cuteness Boutique. This pin writes smooth like butter. You better go ahead and get you some while they're on sale. There are also 30% off. Now back to the message. <laughs> Do you know what the sign is that you've forgotten the law of possession? When you think that your money is yours, you worry about it. You feel a pressure and stress that you weren't meant to have. Money management is a spiritual discipline. We talked about spiritual habits, and this is another one of the spiritual habits that you have to have. God is actually watching how you handle his money to see what spiritual riches he can trust you with in heaven. This might take this might make you feel pressure, but there is actually freedom in the law of possession. When you remember that God is the owner and you are the manager, you'll worry a whole lot less and focus more on managing God's money well. I think this is a good place to just go ahead and stop and let you guys catch up, reflect on everything that I was speaking about. I think it is amazing. We are going to we are going to get under control of managing our money God's way. And I can't wait until next week. We are deep diving in to financial blessings so you don't want to miss we're we're gonna actually be talking about finances the whole month of april and the whole month of may because it's so many things that's on finances and things that stresses us out and you know and we can't keep letting money and issues and different things stress us out it causes health issues so let's get it together and let's get it together together okay so i will see you next week 
in our Soulful Sunday Week 2. Make sure you look in the description bar below. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Also turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I go live or whenever I upload a video. See you in my next one. Toodles!